There is an uncomfortable amount of misinformation concerning the human body, which seems to me, by the way, to be both overwhelmingly complex, amazing, and just generally squishy, which is cool. But uh, this, this misinformation is slowly filling up our libraries and our children's heads as it's being taught to them at a young age, and this problem needs to be fixed. I, I've been doing a, a lot of research over the past 20 or 30 years, and this research is now coming to a head as I'm prepared to make um, a diagram of sorts showing you guys, um, you, showing everybody, in fact, um, what the human body, the entire, um, the entire human bod, as I put it, um, it looks like and is is how it is composed and constructed, what it you know how it is put together, how it all works. Um, there's a, I mean they they there's a, there's these popular songs they try to teach our children, um, you know like the hip bone is connected to the lip bone and um, there's there's been there have been rigorous scientific studies, um, and we don't even know for sure if there is a lip bone yet. Most of the anatomical science that people accept is fact these days, with stuff laid down, the, the, the foundation work was laid down hundreds, if not thousands of years ago, and people still accept it um, as rote fact, and that seems ridiculous to me. And this is stuff right here that I have, have discovered, and um, I've, I, well, I, for, I've done experiments just in the last um, you know, 10, 20 years, which should, just by sheer novelty, trump anything in the past. And I figured out how the body really works. We do know, I figured this out, we do know that there is, like they thought, there is a lung. There is a lung and there is a heart with a ventricle. Um, see, and I'm going to be honest about what we do and don't know. We don't know if the ventricle goes anywhere. We don't know if it goes anywhere and we don't actually know if there is blood. Um, the heart does something. It's in the, it's at least mostly in the chest. Um, and everyone does have cavities. Everyone does have cavities, like a chest cavity. Sometimes you go to the dentist, and if you've been a good boy, they say you don't have any cavities. They're lying. They're not telling you about the one in here in your chest. That's where your lung is, all right? You've got a liver. You've got a kidney, all right? So you need to, uh, you know, like floss. You know what they say? Floss the ones you want to keep. You're going to need special floss to get in there. That's what the belly button is for. That's where you put the floss, okay? So things are going to start changing here real soon as we get this, um, get these new diagrams uh, out to the, the medical facilities, out to the educational facilities. Um, people are going to start being a lot more healthy. We're going to get rid of a lot of the common ailments that plague our society. We're going to get rid of diabetes. We're going to get rid of stubbed toes, uh, dizziness, and doubt. We're going to get rid of uh, things like near-death experiences and athlete's nipple. Uh, we're going to totally do away with bicuspids and pancreases and heartworm, charley horses, melanoma, hangnails, being late to work. These are all things that, uh, that maliciously affect us just because we have an inaccurate understanding of the human body. All right? So with this new... Uh, well, I'm going to call it the new Vitruvian man because uh, the Leonardo's illustration of it is totally inaccurate, okay? The, the man, the human, does not fit into a circle and a square. We perfectly fit into a few um, amorphous blobs, all right? And it's beautiful. It's wonderful. Once we all come to understand that, as you can see in this drawing, um, I think we'll all be able to move forward in our lives and become a little bit more healthy. And I'll say this in a word of closure. No matter what we've known about the, the human body throughout the ages, we've always known that it is an amazing thing. So treat your body with care. We've only each got a couple of backups, you know, to spare. So don't burn through them too quick. Treat it. Treat your bodies well. So, um, yeah, just be good to yourself. Just, just do it, and um, and uh, study this diagram. Learn from it. You'll, you'll do well to do so. All right, that's all for me. See you guys later. Uh, I've got more, got more experience. I mean, ex experiments to do. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.